What is light? Is it a particle, like a soccer ball? Or a wave, like these water waves? To find out, we travel back to 1801, when John Young first conducted his double slit experiment. As you can see, my friend here is helping me conduct the double slit experiment, much like John Young did in 1801. To investigate more into the double slit experiment, we're going to have to look at the projector. Here we have a single slit experiment with an electron gun, a slit, and a back wall. As you can expect, the electrons that pass through the slit hit the back wall, and those that don't simply bounce off. Here we have a double slit experiment with a wave emitter, two slits, and a back wall. But before we start, let's review waves. This is the highest point of the wave. We call it the crest. This is the lowest point of the wave. It's the trough. Let's go back to our double slit experiment. The wave emitter produces a wave. But to pass through the slits, the wave has to diffract and breaks down into two waves. These two waves overlap with each other to create an interference pattern at the back wall. But what does that really mean? Let's take a step back. This is a 2D version of a wave. You probably never saw it before, but we need it to show waves interfering during the double slit experiment. This is the one dimensional version of the same wave. As you can see the red dots represent the corresponding crests of the one dimensional and two dimensional waves. What about the troughs? Well they're simply in the middle of the crests. And finally we get to see two waves interfering with each other in the glory of two dimensions. Keep in mind when the crests of both waves overlap they create a higher wave and when the crests and tra overlap, they cancel each other out. Okay, recap. We know waves create an interference pattern, and atomic particles just pass through the slits. But what about light? What does it behave like? Let's find out. But before we do so, keep in mind that this is a controlled experiment. We have two states. In one state, we are observing the experiment, and in the other case, we are not. As you can see, when we observe light, it behaves like a particle, yet when we don't, it behaves like a wave. That's why we say light has a wave-particle duality. As you can see, we have three bright spots here, which represent the constructive interference of the two interfering waves. These constructive and destructive interferences cause an interference pattern at the back wall. So in essence, light is an electromagnetic wave that behaves both like a particle and a wave. In fact, it has a wave-particle duality. When we observe it during the double slit experiment, it behaves like a particle. When we don't observe it during the double slit experiment, it behaves